Hey, in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about how to boycott evil businesses in 2020. If you have been paying any attention, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, you realize how deeply embedded businesses are not only in our politics, but in our ability to survive as humans. And unfortunately, society often makes you feel like you have no power. These huge companies control the world and there's nothing you can do. But actually, if you think about it, the companies have very little power. It is the consumer that has the power. Because if you think about it, for, in order for a business to thrive, they have to entice the consumer to spend their money on their business. So if we stop buying from them, they have to figure out some ways how to get our business back. So it is really important, actually, that you believe that you have a power as a consumer and that you start exercising that power. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. The first step to successfully boycotting evil businesses is to pick something that actually matters to you. It sounds really stupid, but in practice, boycotting is actually really difficult. It's really easy to go back to your behavior. And honestly, your success when it comes to boycotting whatever you want to boycott is really going to depend on whether you're able to change your habits in the long term. Now, depending on how long you've been watching my channel, you will know that I have been trying on and off successfully sometimes and unsuccessfully at other times to boycott certain businesses. And when I actually look back and examine my own behavior, I notice the times that I'm successful, it is because the issue at hand actually matters to me. Let me just give you an example. In 2014, I decided to boycott Starbucks and it was just something totally random. I had a job that was in downtown LA and every time I would see a cup of Starbucks, I like really craved drinking Starbucks and it really started to get on my nerves and I felt like I was not in control of my own person basically. I was not in control of my own cravings so I gave myself the challenge of stop drinking Starbucks and like I said at first it was actually difficult <laughs> because there's a Starbucks in every two blocks but eventually I actually managed to stop drinking Starbucks and I probably went a year or maybe a little bit more than a year not drinking Starbucks when I actually managed to stop the behavior completely. But eventually I went back to Starbucks because like I said, it's on every corner. And I don't say that to like justify my failure, but it's just the reality of life. When things are convenient, it's sometimes very difficult not to do that behavior. But I wanna get into that a little bit later. Let me contrast that to when I decided to boycott McDonald's around, I think, 2016. I believe it was in 2016 that there was a big movement towards the fight for $15 an hour minimum wage. And thankfully, eventually that law came to pass in some of the big states, California being one of them. And California was going to be the first state to actually act on that law. And I kid you not, the moment that law passed, McDonald's put out a press release and said, we are going to roll out automation to all of our stores and we are going to start with the stores in states that are raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And the reason that pissed me off so much is because my mom worked minimum wage jobs from the moment that we got here from Costa Rica. Eventually, she got a job at Dairy Queen in the mall that was close to where we lived in Burbank. And she was there for like 12 years. And I know that every day she would be on her feet for eight hours a day dealing with customers that are unpleasant at times. And it's just if it's a physical job, even though it's not like super physical, like construction, it's difficult to be on your feet for eight hours a day. It's a difficult job. I never stop to think that there are many other kids around the country around the world whose parents are also working minimum wage jobs to support themselves to make an honest living there is no shame in working a minimum wage job and that's why i personally get really pissed off when people like to act like oh only only teenagers on their first job work at mcdonald's or any other minimum wage service job it's not true because of things like automation and because many jobs have been shipped overseas so they can be done at lower wages, all that is left for a huge portion of the workforce 
all that all the jobs that are left are minimum wage service jobs so it was a really personal issue and surprise surprise i had no issue ever going back to mcdonald's i have not eaten mcdonald's since 2016 like many of you i've been eating mcdonald's since i was a kid i have a lot of memories that revolved mcdonald's when i was a kid when i was in high school in college there are mcdonald's anytime that you drive down the street it's very easy to see a mcdonald's and be tempted but because the issue was so close to my heart because it reminds me of the sacrifice that my mom made going to a minimum wage job and how hard it was for her and how many of the workers that work at mcdonald's and other service jobs like that i had no problem successfully boycotting that business for the long term and so that's why that's my number one tip if you want a successful boycott choose something that actually matters to you it's just gonna be easier for you to keep it because you have a personal connection and when you look at that business you're gonna remember your own personal reasoning for why you want to do this and hopefully it will be easier for you to hold yourself accountable and go on and not give them your money I might be a Nike fiend. I need my checks now the second step to successfully boycotting an evil business in 2020 is to be realistic and choose a goal that is attainable and the reason why that's important is because eventually as you move forward with this goal you're gonna eventually hit a wall of convenience and you know just reality like for example if you're somebody that lives in rural in a rural area in the united states and your goal is you know what i don't no longer want to give my money to walmart well now if you have no other stores within an hour driving distance of you the moment you need toothpaste on a friday night at 10 pm you're just gonna go to that walmart that's close by and you're gonna feel like a failure because you couldn't keep up with your goal now when you achieve a small goal something happens in your brain and you don't feel not only accomplish but you feel more capable to then move on to bigger goals so this is a double purpose you want to choose a business that you can actually boycott in the long term and you want to choose a goal or a business to boycott that is going to empower you and inspire you to move on to bigger goals move on to other business which what other businesses can you then boycott once that behavior is ingrained as a new habit in your lifestyle now i shared with you guys in my last video i got an electric car in order to boycott the oil industry in 2017 and i only felt comfortable making that decision because where i worked at the time in 2017 the building management put a an electric car charger in the parking garage so like i said it became a goal that made sense at the time where i rented it, there was no way that i could physically plug in a car anywhere but now that it was at work and i'm obviously driving to work every day it was very convenient that i could just charge my car at work and of course i shared in my video about getting my car how yes there was a learning curve to owning an electric vehicle and figuring out how to charge it but because i had a charger at work most of that difficulty was gone and like i said it became an attainable goal to own an electric car it, it made sense in my life and i cannot stress this enough whatever you choose to boycott whatever goal you choose to pursue in life it has to make sense for you to be successful it has to like actually be attainable you have to be able to function while you're pursuing that goal otherwise you're just gonna leave it behind because reality is gonna kick in and say you know what it's just not convenient to attain this goal let me move on to a new goal and the last and final step towards successfully boycotting an evil business in 2020 is to give yourself a long-term deadline as i keep mentioning in this video a lot of achieving your goals comes down to creating new habits and you need to give yourself enough time to fail because you're human and now at some point or another you're gonna fail and you're gonna take 
two steps back and you're gonna need to continue moving forward so the moment that you fail you can't drop that goal you actually have to give yourself time to prove to yourself that you can do it or prove to yourself that you tried long enough before you move on and it is actually proven that it takes 27 days for you to build a new habit so if you give yourself at least one month to try to develop a new habit then you can actually give yourself a fair chance but if you want this boycott to be a long life long-term goal give yourself a challenge of maybe one year can you go one year without x product x brand in your life can you go six months or can you go three months and when you get to the three months then can you go six months can you go one year can you go two years like i said go easy on yourself and allow yourself to fail because you will no one in this world is perfect and instead of giving up on your ideal goals and dreams and hopes for yourself just give yourself the time and the patience compassion to fail and try again and to learn not to take failure so seriously sometimes we give up on ourselves because we fail but like i said everybody fails so just give yourself the time to continue pushing when you do encounter those difficulties living like this testing all my patience need a better you every time i drink like a love and lastly, there are so many evil businesses controlling our society that you can choose to boycott that, like I said, I'm going to leave that up to you because it has to be a personal, meaningful choice. As I shared in my last video, my big goal for the year is can I stop buying from Amazon? And I've already failed. Like I mentioned in my last video, I've already failed in my first attempts, but I'm going to continue telling, seeing if I can stop buying from Amazon. Like I said, 2020 has been so eye-opening, us being in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, protests on the streets, and it just has become so clear that it is so important who you give your money to, what corporations you support, what corporations you enable, uh, because at this point, our livelihoods really are in their hands. And that's really all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching if you still are. Subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. And let me know in the comments of this video, what evil corporations are you trying to boycott this year? What are your personal strategies for boycotting or achieving your goals or no longer supporting whatever brands, corporations, artists, whatever you want to do this year? Let me know in the comments how you're going about it. I hope that you're doing okay we've now been quarantined for three months i'm starting to go a little crazy my cat's starting to go a little crazy you're probably going crazy at home or frustrated anxious and it's totally normal you guys it's been three entire months and i just hope that we're all finding healthy ways with which to cope with our mental health um so yeah i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching